Hello, in this video tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to play GameCube and Wii games on your Oculus Quest 1 and Quest 2. I can say that the Quest 2, at the very least, because I have one of those, the performance is pretty good for most games. I haven't fiddled around with the settings yet, so I don't know how good you can get the settings to improve the performance and such. So before we get started, one of the things you're going to need is some kind of Bluetooth controller or gamepad in order to play the games, because the Oculus controllers can't be mapped properly to Dolphin which is the emulator we're going to be using. So you'll need to find yourself some controllers. One of the other things you're going to need is a developer account for your Oculus, which sounds like it might be difficult, but it's actually very easy to do. There's going to be some links in the description below to some very helpful guides on YouTube in order to get that done. Of course, if you have any difficulty making a developer account, you can feel free to post comments below. So the very first thing you're going to need is a Dolphin APK, which is a basically the emulator we're going to be installing or sideloading onto your Oculus Quest. So just go to the description, download the APK, and now you have to download a program called SideQuest. SideQuest is a almost essential program if you own a Quest or a Quest 2. Download that program, install it. Once you have the Dolphin APK downloaded and SideQuest program installed, you've got to connect your Oculus Quest to your computer using a USB cable. So once your Oculus Quest is connected to your PC, it should appear on SideQuest with a little green dot in the far left corner, indicating that there's a good connection. If it doesn't connect, that could be an issue with a USB cable you're using, not having USB 3 support or not being plugged into a USB 3 port on your computer. Then just follow what I do here and install the Dolphin APK to your Oculus Quest. Once it's finished, I'll just say all tasks completed. Now that you have the Dolphin emulator on your Oculus Quest, you can easily boot it up right now but you're going to need games first. And of course, for legal reasons, I can't show you how to get the games. But assuming you've got some games to play, in my particular instance, I've got The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, all you have to do is make a folder on your Oculus Quest, at the very root of the hard drive. And if you don't have the option to open your Oculus Quest on your computer, just unplug it, plug it back in. And if you see a prompt on your Quest asking for a data connection, just click Allow. So at the very root of your Oculus, make a folder called Games, and put your game inside there. You can always navigate to that folder in the Dolphin emulator program. So then you want to boot into Dolphin. Make sure you set your filter to unknown sources so you can actually see the Dolphin emulator that you installed. And if you go into settings in Dolphin, you could always set the directory to where the games should be and add your game to the list of games available. Now, in order to actually play these games, you're going to have to use a Bluetooth controller. In the experimental features section of your Oculus, you can actually enable Bluetooth so that you can connect Bluetooth controllers. Every controller is different, so I can't really show you how to connect, but uh, it is basically the same process for any other kind of Bluetooth device. The Dolphin should immediately recognize the gamepad and then you can just set the particular button configuration. And as you can see from the footage at the very least with Twilight Princess, the performance is pretty okay. There is some audio tearing sometimes, but that would be my only complaint, I think. But that's going to be it for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to post in the comment section below. And don't forget to drop a like and subscribe for more tutorials just like this.